And the polls are closed and tonight we are getting a look at who will be on the ballot this November. We are watching three key congressional races, a major shakeup possible as longtime Senator Jim Inhofe retires. More than a dozen people fight for the Republican nomination for his seat. Will it end in a runoff? And within the Sooner State, a race for Republican Attorney General nomination. Plus, a former Republican seeking to unseat Governor Stitt as a Democrat. Tonight, 2 News has team coverage of the night's largest and most watched races. From Oklahoma City to Tulsa, the 2 News Decision 2022 team has everything you need to know. We begin, though, with the race for retiring Senator Jim Inhofe's seat. 13 Republicans filed for it. And despite a strong showing by Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen, it looks like he will be going into a runoff with T.W. Shannon. Let me show you the latest results that we have right now. These are the numbers right now. These are the people who are the, we are the seats that are up for grabs. Tony Russell is live at the Stokely Event Center in Tulsa tonight, and that is where the Mullen campaign is gearing up for a runoff. Tony. Yeah, Karen, you know, basically the the main question tonight is, you know, are we going to wake up tomorrow morning and are we going to have Mark Wayne Mullen and T.W. Shannon officially in that runoff? You know, obviously, as you showed those poll numbers as they're coming in with over 95 percent of that vote coming through uh, right now, obviously, Mark Wayne Mullen having enough of a lead, but just not enough to avoid that runoff election. Again, that's going to happen in about August um, again. Mark Wayne Mullen just got off the stage and, and, and addressed his supporters here in Tulsa. Obviously, you know, still the uh, congressman from the second district of Oklahoma, you know, a huge, huge, huge regional reach in terms of northeast Oklahoma and the 26 counties that he already serves. But a lot of people here filling the stage here at the Soakley Event Center. You know, we had a chance to speak with the congressman if we have a chance to run that about just, you know, what is it like potentially to face TW in a runoff? Knowing what your runoff uh, group's going to look like potentially, uh, what are you thinking? Well, we can't take anything for granted. Even though we're up almost 30 points uh, on the nearest person to us, uh, we're going to continue to outwork everybody. We said that when we started this race. We'll never let anybody outwork us. And we've had volunteers uh, all across the, the, the state of Oklahoma, all 77 counties, been organized with people out there knocking doors, making phone calls for us. And we're going to set that pace. Uh, that's us. We're going to set that pace, and and, uh, I, and I tell everybody when we set it, just try to keep up with us because we're going to be we're going to be working from sun up to sundown and throughout the night too. That's the latest from the Stokely Event Center. Karen, back to you.